So, we've got a bomb, we've got a launcher. We can shoot the ship and have it destroyed. The next thing is to make that a little more challenging and get the ship moving. So again, let's drop into edit mode. And first of all, I'm just going to quickly show you hotspots. So if I go into states on the launcher, we have interaction settings and hotspots are defined under there. So we've got one hotspot in the middle of the launcher and that's used as part of the overlap. So rather than overlapping a node, you can say I've overlapped a node and a particular hotspot. There's another hotspot that's also assigned to the launcher and this is where the bomb will respawn. So they are also used in teleporting objects around. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some hotspots to this node. So this is a location node. Every location has got at least one of these and we're just repurposing it. So if we go into properties and I'm going to rather than hide it in the start, I'm going to make it visible. Now I'll go into states and into interaction settings and we're going to define some hotspots for this node. And I'm just bringing my joystick up because I want these hotspots to be out there in space. So we'll fly out to the spaceship and turn around. So we want this kind of distance. So I'm going to add one hotspot here. That'll do. And we'll have one around this way. Just engage my flying mode so I can come up a bit. So I'll have another hotspot around here. And let's go around the other side. So we'll have this one about there. We've got three hotspots now that we can use to position and move our UFO. So I'll close those down. Now three is not very many positions. So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to go into the states for the location node. And I'm going to add two more states. And if I go into number two, and I'm going to adjust the offset of this. I'm just going to give it a little bit, tilt a little bit. And if I go into the interaction settings on that one now and define the hotspots, all the hotspots have moved relevant to the node's position. So now I'll go into state three, adjust, and I'll just take it the other way a little bit. So we're just adding a, a bit of variety to those hotspots. So now we've got, in effect, nine hotspots. Okay, so that's the hotspot. So let's now get the ship moving using those. So I'll do edit node and UFO. And let's go into events. So we've already got an event that fires when the spaceship arrives at the start of the game. So when it arrives, which is the first state, rather than just showing it, what we're going to do is now to assert above, we're going to move the node. We want to teleport to the current position of a waypoint. So if we add one of these waypoints, uh, this location node is called space, and we'll add its hotspot to one. Then we'll add another one, so space hotspot oops, two, and space hotspot three. That again. So we've got these three hotspots. Now you can make it follow these in order. What we, what I want to do, is just say pick one of those at random. After I've done that, I also want to change the node state of our uh, location node down here. So I'll say change location node of space. And we we'll just randomly choose one of those three states. So that'll keep moving the hotspots as well. Okay. So we now pick a location and we show the UFO. 
the next thing I want to do is once we've shown the UFO is move it and this time I want to glide I'll do it one meter per second and I want to overshoot the hot spot so if I do get there I'll just carry on moving in that direction and we'll pick the waypoint so I'm going to add a target it's space hot spot one and we could choose any node as a target as well we don't have to use hot spots we can use the actual nodes space at a hot spot three and again we don't want it to follow around a sequence we just want it to pick one of these at random and head for it so that will give us the movement so what i want it to do next is to after it's been here a while if we've not shot it to escape and add a another command so let's give it four seconds <clears throat> moving in that direction and it's still processing at that point we will raise an event and we will call that event flee and now we're going to use that event so named event so what we're doing now is we're, we're going to escape I need to keep that consistent. That's got, that needs to be flee, which is the name of the event we're raising. Now it's only any good escaping if we've not been hit, so that only applies to the first state. And when that happens, all I need to do is change the visibility of the UFO, and I'm going to hide it, and I'm going to zoom away. So just as we zoomed in, we're going to zoom back away again. Give it a few seconds to zoom away. And as soon as it's done that, I'm going to change the node state to first state. And that's going to make it come back in. But as part of that event, it will pick a new uh, location to come back in at. OK. So it's now going to come, move, flee. So there's one other thing we just need to take care of. If we hit it, we don't want it to do that flee event. So, let's get rid of that, that shouldn't exist. So, what we want to do is when it gets an overlap event and it's been hit, so this is when it's been overlapped by a bomb. So, currently it's raising its bang event, changing the UFO to hit. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a, a command above that one and I'm going to say, stop then so this is going to stop the other scripts executing on this ufo and the other script is the one that's going to delay and escape that should give us what we need so let's give it a try so let's watch for the ufo oh, there he is so it's going to go four seconds and run away and see where it comes back oh, and there he comes so we'll attack him Missed. Off he goes. Okay. There it is. Got it that time. Okay. So that will keep spawning <clears throat> and we can keep attacking. And we've got quite a bit of variety in the target now. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at variables so we can start keeping a, a score.